Hello and welcome to the first of our webinar series in the lead up to CoExpo. Uh, this session is all about how you can use Co to source and succeed. I'm Tamsa Lejeune. I founded the Ethical Fashion Forum way back in 2006, and I now head up Co, which is a fashion community dedicated to a common objective, fashion that works better for everyone and the planet. Sometimes I think I have the very best job in the world, and every day I'm delighted by the incredible people and companies that join Co, what they're doing and their commitment and drive. We've had our heads down for the last six months developing new functionality and features on Co, and I'm thrilled to be able to tell our community about some of the things we're launching, not least Co Expo, which is coming up in July from the 12th to 21st. So the agenda for today is that we're going to give you an introduction to uh, Co and to Co Expo. I'll be introducing you to our new head of community, Marielle Jumper, uh, who will then introduce the three fashion trends that we're seeing in response to COVID-19 and how our businesses, leading businesses, suppliers and brands are succeeding despite the pandemic. Then we'll then have a brief conversation with the CEO of Organic Cotton Colors, who have been very successful throughout the pandemic and tell us how they've done that. Then I'll pass on to Andy, who manages our supplier base and the business profiles on Co on how you can connect, use the platform to raise your profile and use the different functionalities of the platform. We'll then have a Q&A with everybody in the room. I'd like to encourage everybody to please share information about who you are in the chat. We'd love to hear from you. And now I'm going to introduce Marielle. It's Hello, a everybody. Cool for us to have you on board, Marielle. Marielle is the founder of Slow Fashion World. Um, she's built in a, a huge community based out of Sweden, but global. Um, and she's Peruvian, so also networked across Latin America. Um, Marielle, welcome. Thank you very much. I mean, it is a pleasure for me to see so many uh, from also from the slow fashion world community, the common objective community. We are connecting bridges and this is the heart of what we're doing. It is about community and it, we are very excited that we can launch CO Expo with all of you. And um, yeah, I'll tell you a little bit more about the success of these uh, companies and how you can join us in our upcoming event and be part of this transformation. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our common objective community. We are a community of leaders, more than 40,000 members, all together gathering under a, a transformation for fashion and where we want to connect not only to make business, but also to bring up content and build that sort of ecosystem that common objective is all about. We are in more than 150 countries, and no matter the size and the region you are, everybody in common objective needs to have the tools and the connections in order to thrive during these times. We are very proud of having more than 100,000 social media audience that is interested in sustainability issues, in getting business transparency actions. So common objective is a community that will set up the transformation in the fashion industry. We have from industry professionals, owners, directors, and buyers and designers that you will be able to meet at CEO Expo on July. Yeah. So much. So Co Expo, all about the Expo. Um, I'm super excited. Those of you, I know we've got people joining us from all over the world. I can already see. Thank you for sharing. Please do share who you are if you haven't. And if you feel comfortable, do switch on your camera. We'd love to see your cheerful faces um, from wherever you are. Um, so we ran the very, some of you may have been involved in some of the very first expos, online expos we ran virtually with the Ethical Fashion Forum way back in 2012 when technology was not our friend. Um, so if you took part in those, you might have, we, we brought in people from all over the world, from the mountains of Nepal to Ethiopia, and we heard them speak and it was magical. And it was a little seed planted. Now this is 
uh, our opportunity now that we've built a platform which has technology to support a virtual event, we're doing it a little differently. So how will CoExpo work? So there are four things which set us apart as an as a, as a organization. Many different platforms have started to run online expos. Where we stand apart is that we're building on the technology and the global base of common objectives. So um, if you haven't already joined Co, I'm assuming that most of you are members of Co. You can create an individual profile. You can also create a business profile. Andy will take you through more of that and how to make the most of it later. Um, but your profile is a matching profile. So as an individual, you get matched with businesses, you get matched with other individuals, and you get matched with, with uh, information to support you to operate better. So if you create a business, that will also get matched with buyers, with suppliers, with what you're looking for according to your preferences. We're running a series of virtual networking events. So webinars, yes, but we will also have virtual roundtables associated with every event. Um, we'll be running them around three themes, which you'll hear about in a minute. Um, um, so the vi virtual networking will include, will, will include webinars that focus on uh, sourcing themes. So this is partly why if you've signed up to CoExpo already, you might have noticed we're collecting a bit of information from you. We wanna get it right. We really wanna understand what you're looking for so that we can make sure the suppliers that we represent at CoExpo meet those needs. Um, <clears throat> and we are also, we'll, we'll then be running a series of events around those themes. So it might be denim, it might be um, sourcing cotton, it might be low minimum order quantity, it might be couture product, leather. Um, and we will bring into the space a number of suppliers who are focused on that uh, area of expertise. We will also have a masterclass session. So key information that you need to know, answer your burning questions related to that specific area of, of sourcing. And then we'll have breakout groups where you can connect with others, your peers, but also suppliers relevant to a very specific um, area of sourcing. Um, another thing that sets us apart, our mission, common objective is at our heart is the, the intention to turn sustainability from a cost to an opportunity. So that runs through all of our sites um, as a business, um, your ranking on the site is dependent upon how sustainable you, your operations. And again, Andy will tell you more about this, but I can say that our 20 highest ranking businesses get 2,700% more views than the lowest ranking 20. So it's really worth spending time on your profile. Um, and then we have over 300 pieces of resources and training that you can access throughout CoExpo. Three themes of the program. I'll pass on to, to Mariel to tell you more about this, but the headline is that we have um, recognized there are, there are three trends emerging through COVID in the way that um, the industry is changing, what we can look forward to, who's succeeding. The first is the chill factor. None of you will be surprised about this. Um, the idea that we are wearing more clothes that are comfortable. Some of the brands that are and suppliers that are offering those are doing very well. The new dress up, where we see an opportunity as COVID restrictions reduce, everybody's gonna want to party. And those brands that are catering for that demand are gonna do well. And then sustainability innovation. So we've seen more commitment to sustainability, not less since COVID hit and suppliers stepping up. So I'm going to pass over to Maria. Yeah, basically, Dancing, you have said all these three amazing themes that we're going to have also at the CEO Expo, and you're going to get to know more. For example, the chill out factor. You're going to see incredible, uh, it has been an increase on everything around lunch wear, around comfy, com comfortable clothes, because people are working from home. The shift to more casual styling with lunchers uh, has set the trend during COVID-19. So you will be seeing uh, brands uh, that will be buyers like Komodo making some uh, amazing collections that are with organic cotton, with bamboo, and they're also using the circular economy in order to make their upcoming collections. Another one is the supplier, uh, Devella India, which creates 
uh, from all the supplier base, good working conditions. They are under the God's uh, fair trade and certification so they can provide organic cotton to the brands. So that will be more on the chill out factor. And as we can see in the US market, for instance, uh, people have realized that having that clothing is comfortable. So the chill out factor is some trend that is gonna stay relevant post COVID-19. So yeah, the next trend, it will be the new dress up. And here, Tamsin, we were talking about the collaboration that uh, you know, Mara Hoffman and the new Deming project said, in, we were talking about that collaboration is key at common objective. And for the dress up, it's all about the party boom. And that might be that is going to kickstart anytime soon, right? For sure, for sure. And so, so we picked out some key brands and suppliers that are doing particularly well within these themes. Um, and especially with a new uh, Deming project, they are uh, using collaborations, for, for example, with Sarah Hoffman. They have also started with Converse and many other members from our brands. So I really recommend you to check out their profile on Co. And Andy also is going to walk you through of how you can check the top ranking pages. And yeah, one of them is this supplier from Guatemala. And of course, Mara Hoffman, who has been not only creating an innovation in the materials aspect, but also in the diversity and inclusion with uh, uh, with speaking about uh, the, the global movement about social justice and etc so this is kind of like the new dress up it's all about thinking about the values of the people and also converting it into hopefully uh, yeah an upcoming collection yeah sustainability innovation it's just as McKinsey say uh, sustainability is now on the agenda uh, companies like the amazing Autumn Deming and also here we, we're going to have Santi from Organic Cotton Colors telling us much more about how they are implementing sustainable innovation in their company. Um, basically it's all about the circular economy and how uh, more collections are turning into upcycling and we will have that in the showcase as well with new coming materials with suppliers bringing latest innovations around sustainability. And here it is, uh, Tansin, do you want to introduce Santi? Sure, um, I just wanted to flag up that we've just given you a really, really small taster of some of the content that we're gonna be sharing. So at Expo itself, we'll be hearing from each of those designers and brands that we shared about how they've done it, about how they've succeeded, what works in their partnerships, how they've created efficient, sustainable supply. So Santi, what a great pleasure to have you in the room. The last time I spoke to you was in person. I think in we Barcelona. were in Barcelona, right yeah, before and, COVID and hit. Much before the, the, the COVID pandemic, yeah. huh? it would be like a year and a half or even a bit more. A very different world. That was um, a nice in But Barcelona. you've been doing well. Do you want to tell me a little bit about how organic cotton colors has fared during the last year or so during the pandemic? Yeah, we try to, you know, when when things like this happens, uh, the first thing is to try to do the same as you were doing and, and realize what are the conditions and the restrictions. And, and the reality is that uh, we passed like a month, a month and a half, uh, really, really strange and with not uh, many emails incoming and it was kind of um, a dramatic situation. But after that, I have to say that we, we start receiving emails and you know requirements from many customers and brands. And I think we could uh, keep working really good. Uh, in fact, we have uh, some uh, orders uh, from two new customers that uh, keep us uh, really um working on well after developing masks you know uh, the the first time this month and a half we start also to create our own solution for masks not uh, treated with uh, chemical products so um but uh yeah and we you've can seen an increase in your turnover of 40 percent despite the pandemic yeah. Yes, this 2020, we, we increased 40% and that's why those new customers that we are producing um, uh, disc to, to take the makeover for ladies. So we kind of uh, producing a lot of this for a certain Spanish brand and they working really good. 
and that keep us um, really busy. Besides, uh, well, our main activity uh, with manufacturing services. And you've seen an increase in interest in organic cotton as well sort of accelerated despite the pandemic and in fact accelerated as a result of the pandemic yeah i would not uh, like to relate it to the pandemic because it's a sustainability is a reality uh, organic cotton or cotton as we know is the most natural fiber used in the world and it keeps being the first option chosen by many brands that wants to switch to more sustainable um, production so I, I, we will say that today there is a lot more demand that offer in organic cotton. And that's a reality. Uh, organic cotton uh, that does not exceed the two, two and a half percent of all the cotton used worldwide. So uh, not every brand will be able to offer organic cotton. That's the reality. And because of that, there are other programs like BCE, uh, BCI cotton that it's uh, getting very popular and well, brands uh, achieve it as something more sustainable but as we all know it comes from a, a genetic modified seed and it's not uh, the organic cotton but well i think we could do a whole webinar on that on that particular yes. topic <laughs> but just but, so we've got it we've just got a couple more minutes of you so i want to get to the heart of the matter now you um mentioned that you're doing something quite exciting the OCC marketplace, um, which is particularly targeting SMEs, small businesses. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's about to fill the gap of how I get more cheapest fabric with uh, little quantities um, in a world that it seems that everyone wants bigger quantities and you know the prices for little brands are way uh, above the, the, the other brands that has more quantity to, to be able to order. So organic uh, cotton market, OCC market, it's launched as a digital platform which shows many uh, different materials, sustainable materials with no minimum quantities. You can make a pre-order and then once it's produced, you will pay a price uh, similar as a big brand uh, pace. No? So uh, it's about to be able to sh get garments made uh, at a competitive price into the retail market. So just for for anybody who's interested in connecting with Sensi, Victoria, would you post his co-profile, the co-profile for Organic Cotton Colors in the, in the chat so you have it there and you can connect with him directly on the platform or members of his team who you'll find in the Organic cotton colors profile. Just to finish off, Santi, um, do you have three recommendations for our network, for the people in this room, as to how they can engage, well, how they can, how they can engage with suppliers and how they can make sure that they achieve most success with their collections? Uh, yeah, ad advisors as a, as a new brand, as a startup, I would say that they have to, uh, in, in the good thing will be to have several people in the team. Uh, one person cannot be good in different areas. So marketing, it's today a, a, a must have area, obviously financial and obviously design where it's actually the ordinary activity of the company. But uh, if, if you cannot have this um, setup team is good you know, to, to think about to contract uh, consultancy services or someone can help you to have these things um, well well done and well thought be before to go into manufacturing. So what we think is that um, people want things really quick and it's not quick to make a production. There are several uh, things to, to have done uh, as labels, as um, hand tags, packaging are maybe minor things that you, you can, you know, think like, I will uh, take in count this later on, but uh, it, it takes time also. So uh, what we do is to listen and, you know, trying to suggest uh, our brands to think in all these minor uh, actions in order to have the collection as soon as possible. Brilliant. Thank you so much. And just to flag up that one of the things Santi mentioned to me is that they're going to be producing some resources 
that so and and services that support businesses through all those steps wherever you are on the journey whether you're a small startup or a more established brand um but that really that was a really important thing i think one of the things that you have a problem with is an underestimation of timing and as a business allow at least six months from idea to product that can sell and and really prepare everything for the supplier expect them to need answers to everything. Um, I think that one way that we'd like to support our network also is to provide the resources that will help you to get it right, whether you're a big brand or a small, um, and Andy will show you in a minute a little bit more about those resources. So mm -hmm. thank you so much, Santi. Um, we'll okay. hear more from you um, at the Expo because Organic Col Cotton Colors is going to be exhibiting. Mm -hmm. For um, sure. <laughs> Wow. Great, wonderful to hear from you. Um, and just, I'm, I'm now going to um, hand over to Andy, who's going to tell us, take you through the site um, and tell us a little bit how you share his screen and tell you a little bit how about how you can make use of it. Um, just before he launches in, a reminder that if you have questions, please post them in the chat. We did get some as part of the sign up and we're gonna, he's gonna try and answer some of those and we'll try and answer some of those at the end as well. Um, but also a call to action for anybody who doesn't stay till the end, please do if you haven't already, sign up to CoExpo. Um, on the presentation, you would have seen QR links. Victoria will also post the link now in the chat so you can sign up as a visitor or exhibitor straight away. We've had a lot of interest from exhibitors such that we've had to put into place an application process. So there's now a simple application form you can fill in as an exhibitor um, to take part. All right, handing over to Andy. And, and just, Andy, if you would give a little introduction to yourself first. It, Andy's a core member of the co-team. And if you're going to be involved with Expo, you'll come across him in a variety of ways. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> um, so I'm Andy. Uh, I've been at Co for six, seven months, something like that. Um, and it's quite a few of you in this call that I've spoken with, even in the last week or two. Uh, I oversee the supplier member base. So anyone who's suppliers, uh, call me, connect with me. Um, and yeah, my goal right now is to not take too much time, but to go through the core, core features of the co-platform. Uh, if you are a co-member, if you signed up, uh, then your dashboard is the center of uh, where it all happens. Um, you will see something like this. Can you see my screen all right? Yep, you see that okay? Uh, so uh, if you see my face up here, something's gone wrong. This is because this is my profile. Uh, and this is the dashboard where we have a lot of tailored content. So when you sign up to Co, uh, you, you ask a whole bunch of questions and that gets fed into an algorithm which then determines exactly what is the content, the people and the businesses uh, to connect you with. Uh, so on the dashboard, there's some content that everyone sees and some content that's tailored for you. So the top here is the uh, a reminder about the co-leadership awards, which Tamsin mentioned a little bit earlier. Everyone who has a business profile uh, is automatically entered into those awards. Uh, very, very valuable uh, thing to be entered into. Um, and I'll, I'll show you in, in a little bit later some of the previous award winners. And then on this dashboard, you'll see some content. So again, Tamsin mentioned that we do lots of really good quality content. And this, what you see here, is tailored to what, uh, what is relevant for you. And on the right-hand side is a, uh, a link to your individual profile and then a link to any business profiles that you have that you're part of. Now on this, if you haven't set up a business profile in this area here, you will see a button that takes you through to the process of setting up a business profile. I'll show you what that is in a minute, but you do that, you're entered into the awards, you do that and people can find your business, whether that's buyers, suppliers, whoever, people who you want to share your business with, they can find your business if you have a business profile. So you might just have an individual profile, but. Uh, after this or at some point soon if you set up a business profile it's very very valuable and you'll see more in a minute why this is where all the notices appear so pro members so these are uh, some of you are, are this you're a paid business member of co 
uh, you have the option, and this is uh, a, a really useful option, is to publish a notice about either it could be a new product, if you're looking for new buyers, whether it's some new sustainability initiative, it could be you're looking for new employees. You publish that and it goes on 40,000 dashboards. Everyone who's a member of Co, it pops up on their dashboard. Um, so it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fantastic feature. It also appears in, uh, on a notice board section of the website and also on your business profile. Further down, I get matched to organizations. So these are four organizations that uh, might be relevant for me specifically based on the questions that I answered when I joined Co and then people matches as well. So these are people that uh, are, are of interest that, that Co has decided might be of interest to me. Um, these change all the time. Uh, and if I want to improve these matches, all I do is head to set your preferences. And these are the, this is the same information I gave Co when I joined the platform. Um, and I can edit these. So for example, on this page, what would you like to know more about? Let's say I'm interested in thought leadership. I just tick that and I'll start seeing some more information about thought leadership. So this content feeds into the algorithm for, to, for um, the content for matching with me with people and also matching me with businesses. Now, I know there's a number of you on here uh, who, work for, who work for brands, some of you startups, some of you work from established brands. Uh, and one of the things uh, that you're often looking for is new suppliers. Uh, so if we want to connect with new suppliers, you go to connect. Um, and here there's a whole load of filters. So let's say that I'm looking for a CMT supplier, a supplier that offers CMT services. I'll go to product services and then CMT uh, ticket here. And then let's say I want to focus in on Asia. Uh, now I'm shown uh, businesses that offer CMT services based in Asia. Um, there's a whole load here. I scroll down. I can go to the I can go to the next twenty and so on. Um, the the ranking of this on this page uh, is the other is the other algorithm that Co has has built, and this is determined by merit. Uh, it's not by how much money these businesses have paid. It's based on uh, the quality of the product services. It's based on the social impact and the environmental impact. So these businesses here, as you can see, if you're a supplier, uh, if you put a lot of work into your business profile, it will appear higher in this ranking. If you're a brand, it's exactly the same. If someone's looking for brands, if you put more work into it, it'll appear higher in the ranking. So let's say I'm a buyer and I've come to this particular supplier who's based in Nepal, Perna Enterprises. They're a paid member, they're a pro member. So one thing they get here, this is the notice that I mentioned that was on my dashboard before that all is on, on, on dashboards, that's at the top. And then they have multiple portfolio images and files. So a free member has three of these, um, these guys have Four, but they could have considerably more than that. And uh, generally, the co community is uh, res re responds well to visual things. So, um, to for you to beef up your business profile, it's worth having uh, multiple things there. It could communicate your products. It could be highlighting a sustainability initiative, and so on. So then, there's details uh, about the business, the size of the business. And then if I want to get in touch with them, so let's say I'm a brand and I want to reach out to them uh, and I select, let's say I want to connect with Corbin. Um, so I click on, click on him. Uh, and at this point, I have the option to connect. Free members can do th three connections a month. Paid members can do unlimited. So if I connect, I'm going to say, I'm interested in your product services. And then I write him a little message. Uh, one of the things that, uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to announce it, but we're testing at the moment, um, which is uh, super exciting, uh, is a messaging functionality. So once I'm connected with Corbin, if he accepts my request, so I might want to say something nice about him here, if he accepts my request, then uh, I can then message him and he messaged me and we can uh, message through the, the Co platform, which will be that's, we're launching that imminently. Uh, if I carry on down, there's all the products and services that they offer, their MOQs, their company practices. So this all 
all of this impacts where they appear in the search rankings. So for your business, you, uh, I highly recommend filling all of this out because it helps you appear higher in those search rankings. Um, the company practices is particular sustainability things that they do. Uh, and then there's the cert certifications uh, and their impact report, which uh, again uh, is, is extremely valuable on co given that uh, it is a, a community of members who are really interested in this stuff, um, as well as it appearing higher um, in the rankings. Uh, an example of a brand. So for those of you who are brands who, who uh, would like to see a, a good brand business profile, uh, if I go to connect, I've got all the businesses here that are on co. So this is brands and supplies, it's everyone. Uh, so if we just select one in the top row here, uh, Outland Denim, uh, is a is a an, a brand that's an award winner. So this symbol here means that they've won an award, which again helps with the the ranking. They've got a notice. They're a they're a paid member, so they can do notices. They've got five images because uh, they're a paid member. They can have more than three. Um, great great images go down, and there's the description about their business. They've got three people that I can get in touch with. Uh, they got they've got um, Profile pictures, which helps a lot in terms of uh, encouraging uh, co-members to get in touch. Uh, and then towards the bottom, again, they're B Corp certified. So they've got that certification here, their company practices, their sustainability roadmap, and so on. Um, how much time do I have left? I want, there's so much to show you. Uh, what I'm going to jump into next is uh, if, how to create a business profile. And I'll do this really, really quickly. So if I go back to my dashboard, um, and from there, if you don't yet have a business profile, as, as mentioned, then uh, I can set up a business profile. I'm going to go to a business, which uh, I just went I very quickly before this uh, webinar set up the business, I went through the process of just answering a few questions. It doesn't take long. I answered those few questions, and then I'm, I'm left with this, which has very, very little amount of information, really. I put in the services and the MOQs and so on. But now's the time for me to really work at it, to make it stand out, to make it appear higher, and so that when someone lands on this page, they really want to get in touch with me. Um, so I can add portfolio images here. Uh, these can be JPEGs, videos, links, uh, and so on. I can add in here by clicking on that pencil information about my business, uh, company practices, social media, contact information. Uh, again, all of these things will help boost the ranking uh, as well as make it a better experience for people who visit my, my page here. And then further sustainability uh, stuff down here, like memberships and certifications, um, and a roadmap, which which uh, this is which is of high, of high high interest to co-members, is how how we how all businesses are becoming more and more sustainable. What the plans are to increase their sustain sustainability. Um, in terms of, uh, you can have as many business profiles as you want. So it might be that you're affiliated, associated with. You might have set up multiple businesses and so you can set up multiple business profiles uh, that's that's something that uh, I, not everyone is aware of uh, and then also uh, if in terms of the matching which i talked about so matching businesses and people uh, the other matching side of things is is matching content uh, and there's a whole load of content if you go to learn there's loads and loads and loads and loads of content um, so as an example, if I go to Sustainable Business Suite and click on Sustainability Roadmaps, I just mentioned that on the business profiles, um, and this can help you to set up a sustainability roadmap. Uh, and, uh, and this is paid for content, um, and we get regular feedback that this is extremely useful. It's a combination of free content and, and paid for content. Uh, and again, this at the end of this, there's a document that you will have that you'll have worked on that will be enticing and help you to become more and more sustainable. And that can be uploaded onto your business profile. So just to finish, uh, we've talked about Co Expo um, 
Tamsin's mentioned it, uh, Marielle's mentioned it. Um, and if you if you go to the upgrade page at any point, um, there's several places you'll you'll see that as you're on when you're on Co or you click on plans at the top. Um, these are the different plans we have. So uh, the free plan um, is where you have uh, limited connections per month, um, a basic individual and basic business profile. Um, and then if you want access to the pro content, so like that sustainability roadmap I just showed you, uh, that's uh, a, for individuals professional plan here. Uh, this is the business plan. So this gives you more, this gives you notice boards, it gives you um, more profile and um, portfolio files and so on. Um, and then uh, the expo uh, plan here for suppliers. So um, this is if you're a supplier and you want to exhibit at expo, then this is the plan for you, which uh, I think that's me done. Sorry. Thank you, Andy. Brilliant. Again, please, uh, good. great to see some questions coming through. Um, so some of our team will answer those on the chat, but please do, do ask more questions. Um, we've also had a whole lot which have come through on the on the sign up form. So we're going to answer some of those now. Um, but before I do that, I wanted to just I've seen that we have quite a few exhibitors in the space. Um, and so I just wanted to make it clear what you get as an exhibitor and what you get as a visitor. Um, I'm going to share my screen on on those visitor pages and how that works. Um, so you can see here um, that if you navigate to the register exhibit page, you'll see down here the benefits of being an exhibitor. So you not only get a, all the benefits of being a business member, but also a showcase at Expo and throughout the length of the event. Um, and that's, we've kept the price low for this first one because we want to really have a great a base of suppliers that we're participating with. So it's only 42 um, pounds per month paid annually. Um, and we've instigated an application process. So you can see if you li click here, you'll, you'll go to the application. You can fill it in in, in a matter of minutes, I think, um, and apply to just, I'd recommend any suppliers who are interested in being a part of this to do that as soon as possible because we do expect to be oversubscribed. And the other thing to flag up here is the program. So I've mentioned this a couple of times. We've got a couple more webinars coming up. Um, we have a supplier focused webinar for anybody who's looking to exhibit or to partner. Um, we have um, a number of partner packages. So if you're looking for more promotion for your brand or for your supplier, um, you can get in association with any of our webinars um, we're launching, well, we have launched a number of sourcing hubs on the site. That's where we group suppliers and information around specific topics to help you to source uh, uh, around a, a specific area of interest or geographical area. And the individuals or businesses that gain promotion in association with those um, get, get quite a lot of notor notoriety alongside CoExpo. Um, content. Andy had mentioned, um, as a pro individual upgrade, you get access to all your content and we're going to be launching some paid for um, webinars as well that you'll have access to as we lead uh, in the as a post expo. So yeah, uh, that's the, the there's, there's a lot going on over the next few months. And just also to reiterate for brands and suppliers, that it's super, this is not, this is the chance for you to we be, we've been quite quiet behind the scenes with Co for a while. Um, and now's the chance if you've got a business and you want it to be out there to create your business profile on Co. Now this matters both for brands and suppliers. Um, with a supplier, any business that creates a business profile is eligible for our awards. The awards give you a higher search ranking on Co. We also promote them across all our channels, our award winners. And the deadline for awards applicants, um, we've extended it to be just before Co Expo, so the 7th of July. So complete your profile to the best it can be by then. That also ensures that with all the people that we're bringing to the site during the Co Expo and the lead up, um, 
they're going to see the best of the businesses that are represented. If you're a brand, it really matters for you to have a quality profile as well, especially if you're a smaller brand and you haven't got a lot of collections behind you. So a number of the questions that we got in related to how to um, create great supply chain relationships um, if you haven't been, if you haven't, if you're not an established brand. And I very much encourage you to work on your business profile. Our most uh, successful ethical supply, sustainable suppliers are sought after. Um, there's, de there's a lot of demand for their services. So having a great business profile, which represents what you're doing, not just the product, but also your commitments. Right, well, I think we're, we're, um, we're out of time. Does anyone have any, anyone from the code team have anything a last minute to add before we, we end the session? Do not forget to join our upcoming webinar with Andy. I'm talking about supplier base. So everybody just jump in and register if you haven't. And Can someone course, post that link in the yeah, in yeah, chat? Yeah. That would be great. So then we will we can continue the conversation and specifically on how we can help you grow your business through CO Expo 2021. It has been amazing. Thank you, everybody. And the, the sooner you. you can be a part of it, the better. So Santi is one of our first co committed exhibitors, which is why we we um, coerced him into speaking at this. <laughs> Thank you, Santi. Um, it's going to get much busier as we lead up to the event. So the sooner you can get on board, the sooner we can get you out there at this sort of event. Thank you all for the invitation. It was a pleasure to be here. Brilliant. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, everybody.